stars from the past and singers making their first visit to Harlem's revered theater arrived from all over America and overseas. We're paying tribute to a great legacy in the theater, a tradition. The Apollo is uh, the heritage of the black theater. It's probably the most famous theater of black people in the entire world. And it's something that we should not only pay tribute to, it's something we should revive and keep alive. It is the traditional theater for black entertainment for all times. It has uh, started uh, or been the starting ground for probably the majority of black entertainers in history. And um, it was the place where I played my very first professional gig with the Miracles. And uh, I also had the real distinction of being the person to play the last date here before they closed it. Smokey performed with George Michael of Wham. Rod Stewart admitted he was terrified at the prospect of following in such distinguished footsteps. Frightening. It's absolutely frightening. Because these are the guys I've looked up to all my life and, and copied in so many ways. And it really is the highlight of my life. Seems I'm not things ever coming my way. Ooh, I'm just a sip on the dot of the day. Watching the tide roll away. Sitting on the dock of the day. Wasting time, time. Even Boy George was overawed at the idea of performing alongside Stevie Wonder. And he's really fussy, you know what I mean? He's like intense. I mean, I was getting a bit worried earlier on because uh, he was so strict with the beat and the you know, syncopation and stuff, but it was really good. And part of the proceeds from the Night of the Stars will also be going to the starving people of Ethiopia. You 